Garrett Cortez, contributing editor for Boating Magazine. Today, I'm in Pineview Reservoir in Utah with Centurion Boats on the 2024 RI-230. This boat has been a flagship of Centurions for years. It's towed world championships, set world records, and it's done a lot for the industry. It's a really great boat, both inside and back out there on the waves. There's a lot of great new features to talk about on the RI-230. I'm gonna show them to you from bow to back, and then later on, team athlete Keenan Fliegel is gonna show you how he sets it up for wake surfing. Up here in the bow of the RI-230, you've got plenty of room for a couple of adults to chill really comfortably, especially when you add this center cushion and make it a playpen area. Brand new, you've got armrests on each side. You've got new stitching. You've got that spraddling vinyl interior that's not only durable, but really comfortable to sit on. You've also got cup holders, speakers to keep you entertained, and some ports to keep your stuff charged. Sitting here inside the RI-230, you can see there's plenty of space to fit a lot of people and all of their gear. Underneath each seat, you've got storage for bags, whatever else everybody's bringing. You've also got really nice interior. It's spraddling vinyl, it's durable and comfortable, along with the new stitching that you see in the RI-230. I also like that on each side, you've got pop-up backrest to customize the seating, and this rear bench can slide into the cockpit face aft so everybody can have fun watching the action on the water. Up above, you've got the drop zone tower. With a push of a button, it can fold flat, make it really easy to store or to get through a low clearance bridge. This model is equipped with the Roswell Coverfire 2.0 system. It's one of seven audio systems available on the Centurion RI-230. And what it means is you're gonna get some bump and tunes all day, whether you're in the boat or out back enjoying those endless waves. Another convenient feature on the RI-230, wireless chargers right here in the cabin area. There's two things I want to show you here in the OB area of the RI-230. First is the trash compartment hatch. Makes it easy to access, keep your boat clean. Nobody likes a dirty boat. Second, right here in the glove box, you've got a battery isolation system. You can literally pick which battery you want the boat to be running and isolate it from the other, or you can have them working together. It's really simple to use, just with a push of a button. You can choose house battery or engine battery. So if you're out in the cove, you want to blast some tunes with your buddies, you can turn off the engine battery and just keep the house battery running. And then that way you know when you're ready to go home, you can flip back to the engine battery and you'll be ready to crank up and go. And then over on the right hand side, you've got PDM switches, basically like a breaker box access, but you don't have to go searching for it in your boat anymore. There's a lot of really nice things to talk about here at the helm of the RI-230. First, you've got a captain's chair that's got plenty of comfort on both the sides and the back. If you've got long days on the water pulling all the kiddos, you're going to be comfortable sitting in this. Up front, you've got Centurion's Revo side-by-side -side touch screens. You can customize them to show whatever you want. With a push of a finger, you can access basically anything in the boat and change it. On one other screen, you can pull up your fuel flow, which I really like to see as the captain. I want to know how much fuel I'm burning, how much range I have left before I need to go fill up. And you've also got a wireless cell phone charger to keep your phone going right here within reach. And you've got an easy to reach head unit by wet sounds. So if you need to turn down the volume quickly, talk to somebody in the water, you can do that. I also really like that you've got cameras both front and back for putting a boat like this on a trailer or turning on the back cam, see who's floating back there, help with any of the wake surfers that are riding the endless waves. Here at the transom of the RI-230, my favorite thing are these flip up backrests. It turns the back of the boat in just to a really cool lounge area. So if you're tied up with some other boats or beach and letting the kids swim, you can sit back here and chill. You've got cup holders to hold your drinks, you've got a locker for extra stuff. It's also got an extra ballast bag for juicing up that wave. I also really like that there's gator step flooring throughout the transom area, including right here in the walkthrough. So you don't have to step on any upholstery getting in or out of the boat. Hey guys, I'm Centurion team rider Keenan Flegel. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my wake surf wave on the RI-230. So the first thing I like to do when I'm setting up this boat to wake surf is get my speed control set. So I'm going to turn my zero off on. I'm going to get my speed set to 11.3, which is how I like to ride behind this boat. Now I'm going to head over to the ballast screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up my port, my transom, and my starboard plug and plays as well as the center all the way up to 100. I'm gonna add 40% to the bow, and then we're gonna get underway, and we're gonna fill up our ram fills. Whichever side I'm riding, which today is gonna be the starboard side, I'm gonna fill to 100% on ram, and the off side, I'm gonna fill to 90%. So now we've got all of our ballast filling, I'm gonna head over to the surf screen so I can activate the quick surf. We're gonna be surfing on the goofy side today, and I like to set my quick surf to 75% on either side. My center tab, I prefer to ride on zero to get the steepest possible wave. 
but if you want to mellow it out, you can bump it down in increments of five all the way to 100, which is going to be your flattest and mellowest setting. From its killer looks to its killer waves, the RI-230 hits every nail on the head for what you might be looking for in a wake sports boat. Plus, it's been well known in the wake industry that the 23-foot boat is pretty much the sweet spot in terms of mixing comfort and fitting a lot of people and having killer performance out back. And that is what you get with the 230. And what I really like, especially with this model, it's a salute to service edition. It's something special that Centurion does. It helps support our wounded veterans and you get a killer looking boat. Those proceeds go to a very special cause. It's just something that's near and dear to my heart. I really appreciate it. And I know that you will too if you order this package. For Boating Magazine, I'm Garrett Cortez and this is the Centurion RI-230.